right now the spectacle is all about who's arriving, who's the dignitaries that are coming through. But for me, I'm looking beyond all these preparations for the inauguration at Loftus Stadium. Who will be in his cabinet? Mm. That's key for me. I'm not worried about whether the American president will come through or the BRICS leaders will come through to SA. That's just ceremonial. It doesn't do anything for me as a ratepayer in South Africa. Mm. I'm worried about who will be my next minister of finance. Yeah. I'm worried about who will be my next minister of public enterprises because the city of Jobek right now, where I live, is having increases for rates. Mm. Your electricity is going up. I'm worried about who's going to be the minister of electricity who's going to ensure that ESCOM is working and I'm paying less for electricity. Because mm. right now, the cost is too much. Yeah. So I'm looking at the composition of the cabinet. The theatrics that are going to happen on Wednesday is just pomp and ceremony and it's, it's yeah. well it's necessary yeah but I, the detail for me is who will be in the cabinet mm. and and that's I think what everybody is hoping for more than actually you know like you say the theatrics uh, the actual ceremony taking place on Wednesday but of course we'll probably wait a few days have to wait a few days after that before we actually hear who the president will then choose to be in his cabinet. I think it's it, it's going to be a tricky one, this <laughs> one to navigate, because when the government of national unity was formulated back in '94, mm. the ANC had an advantage; they had 62 percent of the vote. Now they are on 40, the DA is on 20. Mm. So it means when you calculate this, for every 10 seats that the ANC has, the DA will get five. Yeah. So I'm thinking right now we'll be looking at how talks are progressing, who's getting which portfolio. Yeah. You heard Gaten McKenzie last week saying, no, if we don't get home affairs, we're pulling out of this GNU. So it's going to be tricky for the president to navigate this one because they don't have the majority like they had before. I'm imagining how difficult it's going to be just to pass a simple thing like your budget in parliament. It's not going to be a walk in the park like before where simple by raise of hand, no, I agree with yeah. this, is the ANC guys with their majority. Yeah. So the DA may have their own plans.